Okay, now, I went shopping today because I've got my high school reunion coming up. So my, well, technically it's my 16th year, but because they didn't have it last year because they didn't have enough people, the 15th anniversary is being held this year. I graduated in 94. Yeah, you do the math. Okay, now, I bought two outfits. Both of them are really pretty. But the problem is I don't know which one to wear. I want to wear one on the reunion and one on Mother's Day, because it's the next day. So, here it is. Okay, here's outfit number one. Okay, this is a leopard print skirt. Okay. It's pretty short. I mean, you got to wear Spanx under it. And this is the top that goes with it. See-through. It's got a cami underneath, so I could wear it, okay. No. It looks like it would be good with a pair of boots. I'll have to try to dig up my boots. Okay, that's outfit number one. This is outfit number two. Nice dress. It's a little longer than the skirt. The skirt goes above my knee. The dress is just below my knee. Sleeveless with a belt on the back of it here. Okay. They're both really pretty outfits. They're really nice. I got it from my favorite clothing store of all time. Torrid. I have to go to Attleboro in order to get out of the store because there's none in Rhode Island. and That's the only one like in, in the entire New England area. Any other outfit I have to order online. Yeah, we have this, and I couldn't resist. I bought this to accessorize the outfit. Isn't it cute? It's an owl. Well, owl ring. Hold on. Let's see. Look at that. <laughs> Flash it off for everybody to see. But yeah. So I don't know. I mean, what do you think? Outfit number one or outfit number two? It's kind of hard to tell. I mean, I'm leaning towards one for Mother's Day and two for the reunion, or two for Mother's Day and one for the reunion. Not sure. All right, what do you guys think? Let me know.